the Zenders and Pins podcast, episode 254 for Wednesday, December 13th, 2017. This is Brian. This is Lisa. So, oh, what did the monkey say when he got his tail caught in the door? Monkeys don't talk. <laughs> What did the monkey say? Oh my God, tell me. I'm dying to know. Won't be long now. Oh. <laughs> like I said, monkeys don't talk. Thank uh. you for joining us. So everybody chime in. What do you think of Brian's new glasses? I'm very excited. <laughs> so after all these years, she tells me, I really don't like your glasses. <laughs> we want to have... These? Eye exams at the end of the year, you know, trying to use up all the HSA and whatever. Um, yeah, I never really did. After nine years, she says, you know, I, never... I told you before. No, no. I was trying to be gentle. I was like, oh, what about these? What about those? Maybe, oh, have you considered these? And you're like, no, I like these. No, I had never considered them, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Clearly. But here we are. So. Yep. yep. I got a haircut. You're still getting used to that. Yeah. Whacked off about nine inches. Apparently, that's a thing I do every couple of years. I looked back on Facebook, and I, I cut over a foot off three years ago. So apparently, it's December is cut my hair month. But you think you do it in the summer, but well, anyway. Whatever. We got some new stuff in. We do, and Brian sounds kind of hoarse and sexy in my opinion. It's my Barry White pen salesman voice. He's got a cold, so... We'll see how long you last without coughing up a lot. I'll be good. I just got to, right. I have to be good through tomorrow and then we're all set. Okay. I can take Friday off. Um, this week, uh, you know, we've had, we've had access to this pen before, right? but I had ordered it for somebody and it, and it finally came in. Um, and we had never actually gotten this pen in. Oh God. You... In the regular version. This is the Mont Blanc Legrand. Okay. 146 for... Old school. Those of you keeping track. Uh, red gold trim, but this is not the 90th anniversary. We've had the 90th anniversary in before. This nib is killer. So what's the difference between this and the 90th? The difference between this and the 90th, there's only one thing that's different. It's a nib. So on the 90th, the nib is all rose gold and says 90 on it. Does this mean you need one of these? No, I don't need one of these. Can I... Can I get that in writing? Yeah, I need the 149. No! Uh, but the nib <laughs> is great. It's super. It's got, got nib dough. It's got, yeah, absolutely. It's got rose gold trim on the ends. It's and pretty. then platinum plated in the middle. Um, it's really, really a sharp, sharp look. How big is that? It's too big for you. Yeah, too it's big. too big. <laughs> Thank God. No, that's pretty. <clears throat> it is a classy pen. Yeah. I ordered oh, it's it. a fine. It you got a me fine. a fine. Yeah, That's but it writes like a medium. No. Remember? Well, I know. It's, it's German. It writes Mont Blanc, writes broad. Okay. So, what anyway, else? that came in. That I was excited to see that. and uh, It always concerns me when you get excited about new stuff that comes in. Like, oh, I need to go down and see that. Like, oh, my God. It's going to well, end up on your stack, on your desk. This, this means I'm going to have to order the 149 because I want to see. I'm going to see what that nib looks like because, boy, is that pretty. Mm. Okay. What's <laughs> that? Like, that's my, oh my God, you are very expensive sound. Um, so what else is new? New, uh, all sorts of new ink. This is very exciting. Although I have one question. How many Shimmertastic inks does one company need? And I think we're pretty much there. So Don't we have some that are similar to these? enough already. Um, I mean, some of these are different. This, this Firefly looks great. There, so another new 10 uh, Shimmertastic inks uh, by Diamine. Uh, apparently, Kim's daughter Arabella is all excited about the Arabian Nights. Oh, okay. I think just because it's called Arabian Nights. Okay, doesn't there something else that's similar to that? That looks dark. Probably anyway. Enchanted Ocean, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Um, so 10 more Shimmer inks. Uh, I, I, you know? The Golden Ivy looks nice. That's nice. The Arctic Blue. I'm just kind of... Over shimmer inks. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but I mean, between all of the Diamine and the J. Herbin, um, I think we're good yep. in general for shimmer inks. Well, like, 
what's the next cool thing? We should we should no, no. start to get on the new bandwagon, whatever that is. But I think Shimmers. This is nice, though. This is nice. Firefly is nice. So the next time we do uh, pick ink for each other, you want me to pick Firefly for you? Well, you can't tell me in advance. What else you got? <laughs> uh, we finally have the new Monteverdi um, uh, Noir inks. I got to tell you, this co this copper. Copper is nice. It's talking to me. I don't know what I'm going to put it in. <gasps> Can I put it in my copper vanishing point? I could. Sure. The jade, jade noir is nice. Ocean is pretty. Mm -hmm. So it's just a, a darkened version of different colors. Um, you know, smoke's not bad, too. We like them. Yeah, Monte Monteverdi's really done a bang-up job this year with... Um, lots of new inks. Lots of new inks. changing, Mixing up the whole, no pun intended, mixing up the whole ink lineup. Um... Really fantastic. I mean, they've done a great job. And coming out with small bottles, so it's... Yes, I like you know, the 30 mil 30 mil a is a nice, a nice mm -hmm. addition for them. Um, it works. Also, by Diamine, we finally got in the Earl Grey, um, which is cool. Now, what's the deal now, with that? It's great. <clears throat> <laughs> it's in the regular lineup, in the regular bottle. Um, I would love to see them come out with, like, a whole tea series like jasmine and white cucumber. Or white cucumber. I had a tea yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, that would be a great ink. White. What, what color would white cucumber be? White with a little... How about just green tea or matcha? Or, no, no, no. Or... You, you don't get off that easy. White cucumber. <laughs> what color is white cucumber? Pale green. Pale green. Okay. There Pale you gray. go. Well, anyway, my, my point was is this Earl Grey was chosen by... Uh, by the Fountain Pen community on Reddit. So your voice is heard. What? <laughs> well, what would be your idea for an ink? Well, I'm just saying, if you're gonna if you're gonna say you're gonna have white cucumber, I don't know. This is cool though. This is cool. So uh, also in this week, um, more Kyono Oto ink. These are pretty colors. I am not even gonna try to mangle them. I think Brian gave me his cold, so my head's a little fuzzy. I'm not mm. even going to try. Um, super, super cool, cool colors. Um, I think we're almost so out of I'll one. Yeah, we're out and, of one. And uh, almost, almost out, out of the other. other. We've got more on order. Um, but just really, yet again, great colors by Kyonoto. What else? I'm going to be cheap. Stocking wait, stuffers. Wait, wait, wait. Can I get that in yes, writing? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to be cheap. <laughs> Stocking stuffers. Ooh, yeah. Right here for me. Sailors come out finally with... We don't do stockings anymore. We should do stockings. We should. Sailors finally come out with a nice five-pen leather case. I liked the orange ones. They're okay. This is a nice zipper case. It is. It's got the Sailor logo on the lower, I do like that. lower right corner, and it's nice and heavily stamped in there. It has this big, big elastic here, and so... You take your sailor pen and you just Look slide it in, pen. and it and it really it fits in there nice. You can fit large pens in here. We put uh, king of pens in there, uh, but it comes in three different colors. Nice leather too, black. Yeah, it's nice. It's soft. It doesn't feel um, cheap. It doesn't feel <laughs> stiff. It's it's yeah, it's nice. You know the chocolate. So the chocolate is great. I like the chocolate. Okay, so that's what you want. I think I want the yeah, and then there's you know it's just a nice. It's so well made. I kind of nice like zipper. the tan. You like the tan? All right. So we don't have to fight because so we don't doing, share. Yeah, we don't share. But we don't do stockings. You know what? So what I could do is I could keep this, and then this will be the next. I'll put my next five sailors in. No. Good try, though. It's nice, though. There, there, it's, yes. it's nice to finally. I had seen pictures before of sailor with um, well, that's why we leather asked. cases. Like, and there I'd are seen them in Japan. But out there. Yeah. This you went is, to Japan? No, 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 no. I didn't go to Japan. Not without you. Of course that, not. Right answer. Right, right um, answer. Great looking cases, though. Uh, for the real real sailor fan. Yeah. yeah that's, they're, they're, they're super. They're real super cases. Nice zipper. I hate it when you have to fight with the zippers. Yeah, it's a big zipper. It's great. Yeah. Great. So, so Cool. I'm, I'm excited about that. That's good. And last but not least. Uh, more Twisby Eco Tees in that gorgeous bright blue back in stock. When these are gone... Pretty sure I think that's it's, it. I think that's it, yeah. yeah. So, all right. Excellent. That's cool. That's this week's lineup. Uh, what's in your pocket this week? You don't You don't have a pocket. Um, 
<laughs> I will say that I have my peacock inked. And um, last week I had my Pro Gear Slim Old Teak ready, and we didn't, we didn't do, do what's yep. in your pocket. So yep. I still I still have the peacock. Uh, I'm actually almost out of uh, the Kobe 13, uh, which actually is really a, a perfect perfect match for your peacock. So if you got your peacock in, and, and you all should probably have received them by now. Um, that's a great color to match with the pen, and I think I might grab a bottle of that because it's really. I know I don't, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put turquoise. I know, but I'm going to put like this is stupid, but I'm going to put a, like a little label on the top, and I'm going to say this is for peacock. So I know when I go oh to that pen. Oh my god, you're going to turn into that matchy matchy guy. Well, I have to. It's a great. It's a great color. Really, it's really a great color. Kobe that's 13. So not you. I know, I'm but so I have. Impressed. I now have too many inks. I have too many inks. You have like four. That's like three too many. <laughs> yeah. So. I was um, I was boring. I just popped the cartridge in because I wanted to just write with it. Yeah, sometimes sometimes I do that. But okay. Anyway, uh, what's the big news this week? Coming tomorrow, actually today. But tonight, super late tonight, tonight. Super late tonight. John Lane, general manager, head honcho, big cheese. Big cheese. Big cheese. Big cheese. Big cheese. Oh, we should get him a cheese head. We should, that would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Coming tonight. Um, which means tomorrow we have our big pilot Namiki event. I'm dying to see what he's bringing yes. this time. Here at the store, 10 East College Avenue, Suite 112A, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54911. You can Google it. Go to Google Maps and you'll find it there. Um, Come see us. At the store, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's central time uh, tomorrow. I'm excited. It's going to be great. Yep. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We get to talk. We get to talk and see what's, what's going on in Japan. Um, you know, anything new that's coming, I mean, we're going to try to, try to bleed some detail about the hundredth anniversary. I know. I, I think we're going to get exactly this much information. Nothing. He's going to say they're working on they're it. They're working on it and they got and a lot of people pretty. and it's pretty yeah. and it's Machia and it's expensive. I'll see, you distract him, I'll grab his phone. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe he's got one of the new iPhone, iPhone 10s and then you can you do face recognition. Flash it in front of his face. Yeah. We'll see he how doesn't that strike works. me as an iPhone type of guy, though, does he? Probably, Probably not, not the latest tech. Yeah, so I could text his wife and have her text him, and then I could grab it and hand it to him, and we could. We ought to ambush him tonight because <laughs> he'll be tired from traveling. Yes, he'll. We'll his go to the Defenses bar, will be down, and we'll wait. We'll see him come in. That's so, it. So anyway. we'll get back to you on that. Um, good stuff, though. If you can stop in the store, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, just come by and come play by, with hi, some of the stuff. Check chat. out what he brought. You got questions about Pilar and Miki? Um, He's your man. You know, you've got old stuff, bring it in. I mean, John likes to talk about the old stuff as much as he likes to talk about the new stuff. He does. Um, he does. I, I've, I've sent him pictures before of stuff that we found from 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s. He's like, oh, yeah, that's the and XYZ. He's, they he's made crazy it for about six it. months. I mean, and, yeah. even ballpoints and everything. He's, yeah. he's crazy about it. So, um, you know, if you got something interesting, bring it by. I mean, heck, we'd like to see it. So. Yeah, just make sure it ends up back in your pocket and not Brian's. Just saying. So. All right. Question, Question of the, of the week. week. <clears throat> Ooh, feels puffy. What does that mean? I don't know. It means, it means it's going to be a long answer? I think so. Ooh, oh, it's folded over. Okay. All right. Question of the week. At what point, or dollar amount, or quantity maybe, <laughs> should I consider getting insurance for my pens? How should I begin the process of choosing insurance? Um, good question. We've talked about this before. A couple times in the past 253 episodes. But um, this, I think, maybe approaches it from a slightly different perspective. Um, at what point should you consider? Uh, that's really up to you. Um, you know, the, the pat answer would be when it reaches an amount that you are that is too high for you to just write off, essentially. Um, yeah, if your house burned down today, you know, if you've got you two pens, everything. you probably unless they're re like two David Oscarsons or something. Wouldn't um, that be nice? Not if they burned up in the fire. Well, no, but but yeah, but it'd be um, nice to have two David Oscarsons. Yeah, what? A koi, maybe. I know teal. you really want. I really want that. Teal. So, uh, if the dollar amount is um, reaches a point where you can no longer just let it go, eat it, lose it, whatever you want to call it. 
um, it might be time to look into that. When you get to a certain quantity, which is different for every person, what are you laughing at? Oh, you, you read the question and you're answering the question, so oh. I'm, I'm going to sit here and all right. you just know look what? good. No, I'm no, no, no. Be quick. Go ahead. It's Go all ahead. you. Please. Why didn't you tell us how many pens you have? If I knew that, I would tell you, <laughs> but I don't. I stopped counting many years ago. Okay, so when... No, your, your answer is exactly what I was going to say if, if, if you So know, what do you need to talk for? <laughs> All right, so when did you decide you needed insurance? That's a good question. That's a different question. I, I don't remember. Okay. Was it a dollar amount or was it a quantity or was it a combination? Uh, for me, it was probably a quantity because most of the pens that I have in my collection are uh, vintage in na nature. Um, and while some of them are not necessarily very expensive, many of them have required years and years and years to hunt them down and find them and, and, and acquire them. So... Um, there's a lot of sweat equity there in trying to, to, to get those pens. And to, to, some of them are just simply not replaceable. Now, they may only be a $150 pen, but which, which is a lot, which can be a lot. But, it, it, you know, if the pen took me 10 years to find and I may never find it again, then it might as well be, it could be a $10,000 pen. But, so, so what would <clears throat> we do in a fire? Cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be I'd be standing up in the window and I'd be throwing pens out the window from the second floor. Okay, and hope that it was um, <clears throat> a big snow. So that... Snowbank, yeah, yeah okay. probably. No, um, and, and you know, really, um, a lot of people first. Uh, I, I think the first gut instinct is okay. Let's go to my insurance agent and let's get a writer on the homeownership policy. Problem is, is that's not always the best best option. True. Um, because it's you could do it. But you have to have a list. Sometimes you have to have them in a safe. You got to have them in a safe deposit box. Um, you know, you got to update it all the time, uh, and it can get expensive. Yes. For for very little coverage, uh, we use collectibles insurance, and we've used them for a long time. Yes. Um, and they they insure a lot of things like coin collections, gun collections, stamp collections, baseball cards, all sorts know, of beanie babies. Uh, even I think they even have that on their website. Collectibles, which yeah. is why they're called. Yeah collectibles. Um, we found their rates to be good. Um, I did have a claim once and uh, many, years ago. many, many, many years ago, and it was covered very efficiently. Um, I think they even cover if it's in transit. Yep. So, you know, you ship it or something, you know, looking, I, I haven't looked to see all their different um, rules and regs lately, but yep. uh there are also uh, other companies like that. So just kind of look around, shop around, ask online, ask your pen friends, um, ask uh, if you have other hobbies or other things that you collect, ask those people what they use to ensure their stamp collection or coin collection and, and see. The thing I liked about collectibles is they have an option. If you, if you regularly buy a lot of pens, if you're regularly adding to your collection, they have an option you're looking at me that way for. Um, they have an option that will each year will automatically increase the coverage. The coverage. So that, you know, okay, well, I was covered for X amount, but I bought 10 pens, so now it's gonna be X plus whatever. Does that mean it would restrict you to only that much? That would be awesome. No. 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 Darn. All right. So that's anyway, that's the that's I don't want to make it sound like a infomercial for collectibles, but they're they're great great insurance company and that's who we use and I yeah. haven't looked um in years they're at reasonable. options. They're very, very reasonable. Yes. Oh my goodness. So anyway. Uh, but it's really up to you whatever you're willing to uh to risk. But when you get to that point where you wonder, should I, shouldn't I? Yeah. I mean start to you, look around. If you've got two pens and you can't afford to lose them and they're, you know, they're expensive or they're family heirlooms or whatever. You know, you've got grandpa's 149. I mean, you know, it costs $1,000 to replace a 149 now. Right. So. Um, there you go. That's it. Yep. All right. So. Um, AP Santa winner announcement. Yes. Um, we received hundreds of letters. It's a, um, it's, it's a huge box. Box, boxes. Boxes, I think Kim has by her desk. Um, hundreds of letters. We got some cute, uh, we got a snowflake. We got origami. Uh, some origami. We got some postcards. Drawings, we got all sorts of drawings, decorated envelopes, decorated stationery. Some really good handwriting. 
some really good handwriting. Um, I don't recall if I saw any that were typed. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Don't type this year. Um, some people, um, you know, I, I agree. If you don't ask, you don't get. But um, <laughs> some people certainly ambitious. Did. Ambitious is the word. Yes, I would use. an ambitious list for a couple people. Um, but uh, the primary winner has been chosen along with several other secondary winners. Um, so Kim will be, uh, she's powering through the list um, to get in touch with everybody. Um, should be in touch with everybody within the next day or so. Yep. Being us on social media. Yep. So keep an eye out. Um, but, anything else you want to talk about? No, just, okay. uh, you know, it was really nice. We still do read. Um, most, if not all, of the letters. There may have been a couple, like when you no, were, we're out still, sick we're, one yeah, day. Yeah, I was out sick, so we're still going. Through uh, some we're still going through some, but um, uh, they had been sorted by Kim, and, and uh, you know, some of them were really sweet and and friendly, and we got a lot of thank you comments. Um, some really, really funny, cute ones. Um, people really get into the spirit of. It's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. People, so. people, people like the mail-in thing. They like to be able to use their pens and be able to write. Um, it's just too easy these days to like Instagram, like Facebook, and make a comment. And be and done. Then, then you're yeah. entered into a contest. This is this is yep. way cooler, in my opinion. But anyway, um, I think that's it for this week. I think so. Um, again, come if, and see if, us. If you're in the area, anywhere in Wisconsin. Get local. Get local. Um, that's, that's great. I like that. That's a nice, nice take line. Um, get local. Stop in tomorrow. Say hi to John. Um, and uh, let's take a look at some, have fun with some Pilot Namiki. So. Um, what you might have to do is grab it out of Brian's hand, though, because he's just going to be gonna hang on to hoarding it. it. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, paper, and the Pilot Namiki event review. Yes. Oh, did we talk about shipping? Oh, yes. Let's, let's hit that um, real quick. Real quick. With <clears throat> uh, the cold weather coming, uh, we got a little bit of snow up here, and the temperatures have started to fall and stay there a little bit. Um, two things. One... When it's really, really cold, we will hold shipping if your package contains ink or anything else that could get damaged if it sits in a mail truck for too many hours or if it sits on a dock that's unheated overnight. Uh, so occasionally you will get an email from uh, Dave or Chris saying that we've held your package because of the weather. Um, not only do we check the weather here, but uh, we do also check uh, the weather where you are. Now, if it's going to Florida, it's probably safer yeah, than if probably, it's going to, like, good. Montana. Um, but we do try to keep all of that uh, in mind during, you know, the next several months when uh, the temperatures get pretty cold. And the other thing is shipping for Christmas. You've only got uh, it's getting close. about another week. Well, it's um, the 13th, so... For it yeah. to get there in time. Um one thing, especially since we now do free shipping um, with purchases over $50, you might want to consider spending the $2.50 on the signature confirmation. Especially this time of year, the mailmen get busy. They just leave packages on your um, front porch or by your front door or on top of your mailbox. Um, or have it shipped to your office. Yeah, have it shipped to your office or choose signature confirmation so that you make sure that it arrives to you. So. Um, we, yeah. we strongly urge you to uh, to consider that. So there you go. There it is. Um, I think that's it then. Yep, just uh, follow the blog for news, ink reviews, all sorts of fun videos, and check us out on social media as Anderson Pence. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.